What is up? My name is Josh West with Cellar Door Sound. Stoked to be here with you to show you how to make your music sound a little bit better. Uh, today we are talking all about delays in GarageBand. The last video I did was how to get some more creative reverbs out of GarageBand, so click the link in the description to go watch that first for sure. And then today we're talking about delays. Uh, in GarageBand, they kind of limit you and they just have a couple sliders to turn up for reverb and delays, but I have a slightly better way to do this and it's just gonna make it sound so much better and you can actually manipulate it a whole lot more to get a sound that, that basically sounds like it should be on the radio. But before I get into today's video, I want you to push pause and click the link in the description and go grab my Ultimate Vocal Presets Bundle. It's a completely free presets bundle made for GarageBand that has vocal presets for EQ, compression, and saturation. Uh, there's a bunch of them on there and it even comes with a free video to show you how to load those presets onto your computer and how to manipulate them with your own vocals. I'm super proud of it, so go grab it. I made it for you completely free get it pause go okay so let's jump into this all right so we have a track here with uh one of my favorite vocalists of all time uh, her name is bethany dunn she rocks and i'm just gonna push play so you can listen to what we're dealing with here and this is basically where we left off in the last video a few words have two meanings but there's one thing on my mind it's so for you sounds great Beautiful, such a beautiful vocal. Uh, like I said, normally in GarageBand, how you would do delay is just click this little track here and you go to this master echo and turn it up and then you get kind of default delay. But I'm gonna show you just a better way of doing this. All right, so what we're gonna do to get this awesome sounding delay is we're going to click on our vocal. I'm gonna mute our reverb just for now so we can hear what's going on. We're gonna click on our vocal and we're gonna scroll down, make sure you have track selected here, and we're gonna scroll down to plugins. I'm going to add a plugin here. We're gonna go all the way down to audio units, then go to Apple, and then go to AU delay. Awesome. So this is a really cool sounding delay, um, and I really like it, and it just sounds much better than the uh, delays that are kinda of come stock inside a GarageBand. So, how you work this, it's really easy, is you basically drag this little orange guy around and that so sets your time for the delay. Uh, so the closer you have it back, the faster it is, and the further you have it back, the longer it is. So let's just solo our vocal here and I'll show you what I mean. So if I have it set really, really tight, it sounds like this. A few words to me. Super tight delay. Now let's move it really far back and hear what it sounds like. A few words off to a me. Few words off to <laughs> me. So it's a really, really long delay there. So what we're going to do is I kind of want sort of a eighth note, quarter note, somewhere in there delay. And I'm going to move this around till it's basically in time with the song. Um, and just a little bit outside of exact timing because I want it to be just a little bit more creative. So I'm going to push play and basically move this around to where I, I feel like it's at a good spot. All right, so that sounds like it's a pretty good timing. It's just slightly off time, which I kind of I kind of like that sound. Um, so what's really cool about this plugin is basically you can set the amount of delays you have by just moving this orange guy up and down. You kind of got to look at your delay time right here and make sure that you're not getting off, but you can move the percentage back to where it basically lessens the amount of delays that you actually have. So we're going to kind of bring it down just a little bit. All right. And then what we're going to do is we are going to take this low pass cutoff frequency and I'm going to set this to about 7,000 hertz. So what this is doing is it's ba to basically taking 7,000-ish hertz and above and kind of scooping that out. That way you don't have the S's that are really hitting you um, on the delay because we don't want any of that. So then we have the dry wet mix. 
So how this works is I explained it in the last video for reverb, but if I set this all the way to dry and push play, it is 100% the dry vocal. If I go all the way 100% to wet, it's only the delay. So you can come in here and get a really good sound like this, but I want you to kind of ignore this for a second. And now what we're gonna do is we are going to make sure that our track is selected here. I'm gonna right click it. We're gonna push new track with duplicate settings. All right. And then I'm gonna double click it and name it vocal delay. So now we have the exact same track with all the settings. We got our delay down here. So I'm going to click on our Bethany vocal on the region here and I'm gonna option click and drag and copy that audio down. All right, so then we're gonna go back up to our main vocal track and I'm gonna turn off this delay because we don't need it anymore. You can get rid of it. And then I'm gonna go to our vocal delay and we have it here. All right, so now I'm gonna take our mix percentage and bring it all the way to 100%. So I'm basically saying that I don't want any dry vocal on this track. This is just gonna be my vocal delay track and that is all. So what's really cool about this is now we can start mixing in with just this fader how much delay we want on this track, which is cool. Instead of going in a plug-in and trying to figure out the wet mix, um, it just makes it so much easier to mix the song like you like you really would, like a real record. All right, so now let's, uh, I'm just gonna push play and find a, a good setting for this delay. A few words I've told me there's one thing on my mind It's all for you All right, cool. So that's in a pretty good setting. Now we're going to take this a little bit further. And right now the delay sounds really good, but it's kind of all coming from the center, which I want it to be a little bit more creative, and I kind of want it to have this sort of stereo image. So what we're going to do is I'm going to actually delete this uh, de-esser plugin just because we're out of plugin spots. We don't really need it because we're cutting out all those highs anyway. I'm going to click and drag, move this plugin up, and then we're going to add a new plugin, and we're going to go to Imaging Stereo Spread. All right, so now we have this uh, Stereo Spread plugin that's going to take that mono delay signal, and it's going to make it super, super wide. So I definitely recommend headphones if you... Um, if you're listening to this, mainly because you're, it's hard to tell on the iPhone what's stereo, what's mono. Uh, all right, so let's push play and hear this difference. A few words I've told me, there's one thing on my mind, it's all for you. Cool, so now all of a sudden, instead of that mono sound, it really brought it out stereo and made it a really, really cool effect. So let's, I'm gonna turn it up just to make it more exaggerated so you can hear what it's doing here. So I'm gonna turn off the vocal delay, uh, just the stereo spread of the vocal delay, and push play so you can hear the delays. A few words I've told me, there's one thing on my mind. Cool, and then let's turn it on. Cool, this is such a such an easy thing to do and it makes such a big difference. All right, so now we're going to basically mix this in to where it, it sounds good. So we're gonna turn the reverb on and we're gonna put it right just above the reverb but not taking over too much of the lead vocal. A few words I've told me There's one thing on my mind Awesome, that made a huge, huge impact on this vocal sound. So I'm gonna show you one more really cool thing and it's the biggest reason why we did this. Um, we, we got the delays on this, on its own track for a reason. So if you push A on your keyboard or you go down to mix, show automation, that is gonna bring up this, this sort of automation window. And this is really cool because you can start to automate the volume level of, of really anything. Uh, so I'll show you what I mean here. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna find a word that I want to kind of exaggerate that delay um, and we're gonna bring it up with this automation. A few words I've told me There's one thing on my mind Cool, so let's do it on the mind here. So the mind starts about here. 
Oops, undo. Okay. So I'm going to make a little dot. I'm going to double click on this yellow line here. And that's just saying that I want to stick with that point. And I'm going to double click right after it. And I'm going to go to the end of her mind here and make another two little dots here. Oh, did I not make a, there we go. Okay, so you should have four dots, uh, two that are really close to each other. Now on the mind, I'm gonna bring this up a few dB so that whenever she sings mind, that delay is gonna come up and uh, create a cool effect. Let's hear it. A few words have two meanings. There's one thing on my mind. Cool, so you can hear whenever she hits the mind, that delay comes up, and then it goes back down whenever she starts singing again. This, if, if you're paying attention, this can create some really cool possibilities with reverb and effects and just making your mix so much more interesting. So I hope you enjoyed that video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and do not forget that I have my vocal presets bundle completely free for you. Just click the link in the description and you get over 30 presets for EQ, compression, saturation, and distortion. Uh, it's really, really awesome. And it comes with a free training that shows you how to put these into your computer and how to use them for your own vocals. Thank you so much for joining me, watching this video. Thumbs up, like, all those different things. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next week. Peace, guys.